Sally, good afternoon to everyone. Okay, so how are you all are doing today? Okay, uh, all are muted, right? Okay, no issue. Okay, today we are here to learn about effective CV and resume writing, right? So without making a delay, I'm going to start the presentation. Okay, okay let's start our presentation. Uh, so uh, in our uh, participants list, I have seen there are many uh, degree students, diploma students, and HS students, right? So uh, all, all are comfortable with English, or I can go with Assamese also. Hello? Okay, without making a delay, let's start the presentation. So our presentation is on effective CV or, or resume writing, right? So we have seen that after getting our degree or diploma or HS, we always dream for a for our dream job, right? So we keep yeah, we start trying for that job. Yeah, so the first thing that we need to expertise that is a CV, a resume, or a LinkedIn profile. Okay, I will tell you later on for this LinkedIn profile. So before that, we will get clear for CV writing and resume writing. Okay, so the, the biggest problem is that for a dream job, we are not the only applicant. So there are thousands of applicants. So how to be the one among those the thousand applicants? That is the biggest thing. So therefore, we need to write our CV or resume in an effective way so that our resume gets selected, right? So our struggle begins once we get our degree, diploma, or the HS. So let's make our unsuccessful job chairs into successful job chairs. So we will do our job chairs like in Lighthouse. So as we know all, the Lighthouse is always built on a cliff of solid rocks. So our, our Lighthouse is the job chairs and the solid rocks are the foundation on the basis of which we are going to build this Lighthouse. So the three solid rocks will be here, will be the resume, the CV, the LinkedIn profile. So first of all, we are going to see the difference between a resume and a CV. Okay, so actually, uh, the the uh, means the difference between the CV and resume is basically considered in North America. In India and in Europe, resume and CV are the same thing basically, but in North America, it is considered two different things. So whenever you are going to apply a job in North America or like that, so you need to understand this basic difference. Basically, a resume is a document you send to find a job. So in an organization, in a company, so basically they require, uh, so on, on a getting me now, hello? Uh, you can unmute and tell me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, and yeah, do I need to um, translate in us, please? Okay. Jodi kiba buzi nupwa, nukhom ya tu kobo para. Ha. My akhom ya tu ma comfortable hai. To malu ke jiman bro, to malu ko kiba jodi query thake, to malu ke note down kori rakhan page up. Question answer session. Kibazari confusion as a mukhudi lehol. So, my English to carry on Korisubaro. Jodi the Maluku Kiba confusion, her book love discussion session at Kodiba. Okay. So, now we are going to tell the difference between resume and CV. Okay. So, CV, doc, CV is a document you send to find a job. So, whenever you were applying for an organization, a company, 
you have to send a document depending on the job description they have described in the advertisement okay so you have to focus on your skills that the organization is asking for so that is a resume and you have to highlight your skills you uh, you in a very short crisp manner so basically it is an advertisement of yourself okay it should not be long boring or funny funny daddy type document okay it should be crisp short to the point focused document highlighting all the professional credentials which portrays you as a very interesting process person okay so basically we have to write our resume in 1 to 1.5 pages maximum length and uh, uh, that tells about your experience while uh, doing your uh, academics also whatever skills you have earned and what are the experience you have got how you have trained yourself and how you have built as a person over the years of your education over the years of your uh, previous job experience whatever it is okay so it is a marketing brochure it is like a marketing brochure that will highlight your skills and specify the and and that should be specific and highly focused one basically you know it should be an eye catchy document resume is a scanned not read actually when you are applying for a job in an organization there are thousands of applicants who will uh, drop their resume over there so the hiring manager sitting over there the hr manager sitting over there he is not he or she is not having that much time to go through all the resumes right so basically two things are done if the applicants are less the hiring manager or the hr manager is going to go through those resumes for at least 8 to 10 seconds first 8 to 10 seconds so it's a very less time right so you have to be that much specific uh, that your resume by the hiring manager or the hr manager with uh, within that period of time that is 8 to 10 seconds so see how much specific and clear you have to be okay so uh, whenever we talk about cv that is curriculum vitae it is a document you send it to academia so whenever you are your prospect is to be a professor doctorate phd research medicine you have to uh, write in cv curriculum vitae uh, vitae you have to write all the details so it is not uh, one or one, one to 1.5 page it's actually 5 uh, to 6 pages long it's a detailed description document so you have to write about your research projects in a very descriptive manner so so it depends for what you want to apply or in a company or organization or in academia okay uh this is a difference between a resume and a cv okay so basically in india the resume and cv are the same thing but in north america and some parts of the country it is considered as two different things so whenever you are applying for a job you have to be clear enough or you have to make it sure that where you are applying and what they requires okay so basically resume is a uh, document you send to find a job highlighting your key skills mm, they are very much particular about the key skills and what uh, you were having those things on they, they will definitely look for you were having those things or not in your resume that they are looking for you may be an expert you may be a person having lots of skills lots of expertise in many things but they are not interested in those things 
they are interested in that thing only that what they are looking for and uh, and you were able to meet that criteria or not okay so you have to be particular and you have to meet this gap so that you can communicate with the hr manager or the hiring manager actually in cv or resume is a communication link communication channel a written communication channel uh, through which you were going to establish a connection a network with the hr manager or the hiring manager whoever is uh, going through your resume okay so make one thing in your mind clear that the hr manager or the hiring manager will not go through your resume hours and hours sitting in front of him or her okay because of for a job there are thousands of applicants so they have to go through the thousands of applications thousands of resumes thousands of cvs so it's not possible for everyone uh, to go through all the details uh, sent by the candidates right so it should be short and precise it should be of 1 to 1.5 pages you know one thing with the uh, 10 years of experience can be written in one page if you are very short crisp and precise always remember a resume should not be long boring funny daddy type document it should be crisp short to the point focused document highlighting all your prof uh, professional credentials which portrays you as an interesting person you always remember that don't reveal everything about yourself only reveal the thing which they are asking for and always put a drop a message that how interesting person you are and make them um, in curious so that oh let's call him or her and uh, take an interview to know more about that particular person or uh, know more about the professional skills and experience of that particular person so you have to be that much means uh, what you say that much uh, you have to look on that much okay so okay the, uh, you have to be highlight your key skills then specific highly focused i catch you i told you that uh, you, every uh, if if the hr or the hiring manager is looking for the cv uh, manually then they will give 8 to 10 minutes 10 seconds sorry 10 seconds to every resume if they are using a software you know uh, many of the organizations like tcs uh, uh, they are using softwares hiring softwares so uh, whenever you send a resume the the your resume is scanned and uh, how your resume is scanned over that software i'm going to tell you in the later stage and how uh, your resume will be selected by that software that is an important point okay if i um, forget in any point of time please do remember to explain this thing okay uh, anyways uh, cv is a uh, document you send it to academia or uh, if you are willing to be a professor doctorate a phd research scholar or you want to do anything in medicine or like that so you have to be write a cv that is curriculum vitae curriculum vitae is a long long document a very long document you can write it over for five or six pages long it, it is a detailed description so cvs are generally read against that particular position um so you have to write about all the your research experience or everything you know so people go through it very carefully so when you are applying for any academia then you have to write a cv okay i think uh, the difference between a resume and cv is clear uh, for everyone should i proceed please unmute and tell me uh, sure ma'am okay okay so while writing your resume you have to be cons you have to consider yourself as brands okay so the two things that 
you should keep in your mind who are brands. You have to answer the question, who are brands? You are the brand. Okay. And how brands are marketed. Okay. How brands are marketed. That means how you are going to market yourself in the job market. Right. So um, just consider you are the brand to be acquired by your hiring manager or the HR manager. Right. So you uh, think yourself as surf excel okay so if you consider yourself a surf excel you are going to sell the surf ex um how you are going to sell the surf excel in the market the so, surf excel jeta do already market er beshi bo jaba to ki koriba man bilake ki hole ki dibo jintu detergent all of economic budget ta he enikoy bisaribo aro jintu safa kori aro ami beshi kapur dibo paru to hekhini hol amar requirement market er so, the requirement is that the surface is not going to be able to do it. So, the job market is The job market is very similar to the marketing thing. So, whenever the hiring manager wants a candidate for a particular position, they want that that particular candidate meets all the criteria they want to fulfill. Okay? So, you always think whenever you are applying for a job market, you want to surf in the job market. It is very silly, but it's true. Okay. So I have told you beforehand also, resume should be crisp, short, to the point, focused document, highlighting all your professional credentials, which portray you as an interesting person. It should not be like this person is not interesting. This person, uh, this person is not having their skills. Then they will drop this resume. So it should not be like that. Okay. And I have also mentioned the eight seconds criteria. So the first line of your resume is seen by a human eye and it scans in eight seconds. So whenever you add the summary in your resume, that should be eye catchy. That should not be more than three lines. Okay. So it should be less than three lines. But it should be appealing one. Okay. Uh, so all these things are mentioned. Nowadays, uh, uh, softwares are used. I told you before also. Uh, uh, in TCS, there are more than thousands, thousands, ten thousands applicants also uh, applying for the same position. So it's not possible for a human sitting over there and going through all the applications one by one. So they use software. The softwares are basically uh, set on some algorithm okay so algorithm follows some basic criteria like keywords see um the, the students who are from engineering background i think they are familiar with this and uh, the students who are not from engineering background just uh, think that uh, software is there and keyword is there okay so, who, what, what are the keywords that will make your resume more probable to be get selected? So, how I, how I'm going to select those keywords? So that is the first question coming in everyone's mind right now. Right? See, you have not, you should not open up your dictionary and find tough toughest words uh, to put on your resume because th see your resume should be very simple one that should be understood by all okay you sh you have to go through the job description in job description they will look for some particular skills right so what particular skills that job that designation but that vacancy is asking for that you have to scan and what words are basically used, repeatedly used in that job description, you have to scan. Like a foreign marketing manager, basically, um, they require skills like uh, experience in digital marketing, social marketing, uh, across various platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Google, AdWords, LinkedIn, advertising, and all those things, they, they are the basic requirements, right? So... You have to 
use those words like uh, i'm good in social media handling linkedin facebook or this 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 i know how to analyze the data okay see uh, there is a term data analyst okay that is the most uh, recent word coming analyst so uh whatever you were doing now uh, that is analyzed by different softwares so that uh, comes in later stage so you have to be particular ha huh? and so whenever you miss a word or miss a th uh, thing particular thing that get detached and uh, people uh, means uh, that software fails to detect your resume so be clear about that okay so i think uh, uh, it is understood by all what how you have to build your mindset what you have to think and how you have to means uh, begin to write your resume so uh, after this slide i'm going to tell you about i think the structure of resume is there yeah the structure of resume is here okay so uh, the basic structure of a resume is very simple you have to first the contact information okay one minute ha huh? personality transferable skills right so contact information what is contact information contact information is a very important part of your resume the contact part contact information part is the part is the data in that part through which the hr manager or the hiring manager will communicate with you so that should be the correct one whenever you are giving your phone number it should not be the phone number of your father of your sister of your brother because uh, the hr manager don't want to talk about uh, talk with your she is not she or he is not having that much time to talk with your father to your daughter or sister or somebody else he wants to contact with you so you have to give you have to be particular that when uh, that uh, the manager is going to contact with you you are the person who is going to pick up the phone see you need a job so you have to wish uh, it's for her or him they num they numerous of applicants sitting over there so you have to be particular that whenever she or he contacts you uh, you were the person in sitting in the other end and talking to that hr manager or the hiring manager sitting over the organization okay the contact number your contact number the second thing is that your email id i have seen many people writes fancy email ids okay fancy email ids means uh, people like to write star galaxy 21 sandy uh, sandy rocks 21 or uh, something like that um, jang jang 2460 at the rate gmail dot com or like that. This kind of fancy. As uh, uh, some people call them, it's very cool. But see, whenever you were writing your CV, you have you should not show yourself as cool or like that. They are not. They are not interested. You were cool. You were that is good at your end. But if you were cool, that doesn't mean that uh, the uh, the organization is not asking for any cool person to be hired. We want. a person with whom they can communicate in a proper manner in a professional manner or and the person is having that particular skills or not they are very specific and to the point okay so uh, you have to put a professional email id what is called a professional email id it's very simple name at the rate gmail.com like ram at the rate email.com gmail.com then uh, rahim at the rate gmail dot com whatever name you were having or uh, sham prakash at the rate gmail dot com your name at the rate gmail dot com that makes it easy for the hiring manager or the hr manager to remember also 
ah rahim what is the rahim's email id rahim at the rate gmail dot com that is the email id of rahim so that is very easy to remember by uh, the advantage but if rahim is having a very complicated email id eh, forget about rahim eh, he is having such a complicated email id uh, it is very difficult to remember eh, forget about rahim let's go for ram she will think like that he or she what whoever she, uh, is sitting over the hr manager right okay so uh, contact information is uh, almost over and you can also put in contact information your linkedin profile also because linkedin profile is in professional profile highlighting your professional details so you can um, in uh, now times many organizations they go through your linkedin profile also so you have to build a very highly professionalized linkedin profile and you have to showcase your linkedin profile link in your resume contact information then we can come to summary section so while coming to the summary section okay uh while coming to the summary section you have to be very particular you have to summarize your skills in very few lines that should not be more than three lines while writing a resume and cover all the key things right so i will give you an example okay uh of a press the summary okay whenever you were applying for and data analyst post so what kind of summary you were going to give i am going giving you an example data analyst with 2 plus years of experience if you having experience okay uh experience in complex data maintaining databases producing monthly reports using advanced excel functions known for ensuring speedy output keen eye for detail and the ability to keep both the clients and employees happy so this this summary okay this summary tells about the experience also and expertise areas where that particular candidate is expertise like the data analyst with 2 plus years of experience that portion told about the experience then verifying complex data maintaining databases producing monthly reports these are the expertise areas okay the candidate is highlighting the expertise areas using what you have to use a platform you have to get expertise in particular software so he is expertise in advanced excel function do you know ms excel ms excel is a very smart tool that does the normal plus minus operation to programming visualization data visualization data analytics and all these things so if you write a, uh, you if you were means good in ms excel from a to z then nobody can beat you i am telling you because uh, there may be there are uh, lots of uh, softwares are coming no doubt but ms excel is a very user friendly one and easy to learn and uh, you can do anything out of it okay so this is an extra information i told you <laughs> anyways so like this so uh, this is the summary for an experienced person if you are not ex not an experienced person so here in our program there are lots of fresh students are there right so for freshers you have you uh, no need to express the experience part you have to express the areas where you which in which you were exp uh, expert and in which you have uh, you were trained and in which you have learned new things right so like that you have to write your summary then the work experience so work experience regarding work experience you have to write uh, the uh, last work experience first so if you are the uh, last company recently you had worked you have to mention it in the first and you have to write uh, the experience portion in a detailed manner of in your, of your last company okay so if you are not uh, having work experience then no need to add this part 
yeah, you have to add your projects, whatever projects you have gone through your academics, whatever. So while doing your project, what technical expertise you have gone through, what uh, non-technical uh, expertise you have gone through. Technical expertise means what are the, like uh, if you have done any um, motor control project like that. So you will be using some uh, Arduino programming or uh, MATLAB or something, something. So these are some technical things, right? So you have to include those technical things and what are the, um, how you have done these things. So that you have to mention. But when uh, you are not having um, uh, a non-technical portion experience, that I have gone uh, through teamwork, I know how to do the collaboration. I have done, done this, that, this. So all this you have to include. Then accomplishment. Accomplishment is your personal experience. What are the things, what are, the, uh, what are your accomplishments, achievements? You have to write down all those things. Personality, personality, extrovert, introvert, and uh, what kind of you were open, um, you were reliable, self-directed, hardworking, whatever your personality you were having, uh, you have to write down. And transferable skills. Transferable skills means, um, see, what are the skills you have gained in your academics, in your schools, in your degree level, or if you had done any job previously in your previous company, and that skills can be used in your upcoming job in which you are going to apply. So that, that, that skills are called as transferable skills. So that skills can be transferred from that this. Okay, so you have to mention your transferable skills also. So all those I have talked about resume, but in structure, uh, 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 if we talk about the structure of a CV, then we have to go for more details, li like uh, the contact information is similar as resume, the personal statement. What is the personal statement? You have to add on personal statement that uh, you have to mention what for you were having what and what for you were applying and how you can do expertise in that particular area. Then for professional experience, like your resume, you have to add on the professional experience. Then academic history. Academic history, you have to include everything in details <coughs> in your, sorry, in your CV. Then key skills qualification, industry awards, professional certifications, publications, uh, professional affiliations, conferences attended, additional training. All these things are uh, welcome while writing a CV because um, in academia, uh, uh, as much knowledge you are having, as much extra things you were doing, all these things is having an extra mark, you can say, additional mark, okay? So all these things are counted while writing a CV. So it should be a detailed description of all, okay? So, so how to write a CV? Well, the format, the, I'm going to talk about the format. So set one inch margin in all sides uh, and uh, use one to 1.15 line spacing. Pick a good font for a CV. Like Times New Roman is a very standard font that can be used in many uh, of uh, I mean, uh, official documents. But, uh, go, um, but whatever you are applying for, uh, they basically focus something a specific format. So you have to first go through that format and uh, what they're mentioning and what they're asking for. First make it clear. Uh, if, they are, uh, if they have not mentioned anything, then you can go for Times New Roman. Then create a professional CV header format for your contact details. Okay. So professional CV header format for your contact details. So first you have to uh, contact details, your name, CV, contact number, LinkedIn profile name, all these should be included over there. Okay. 
in CV, you have to uh, place your photograph. That is a must in a CV. But in resume, you have to look for uh, that whether the organization is asking for a photo or not. If you are applying for an air hostess or uh, anchor or something like that, you have to place your photo, passport size photo. If you are not uh, applying for that kind of positions where you face is the, uh, that much important, no need to put those photographs. That is not an essential thing in resume. Okay. So divide your CV into legible sections. Okay. We have already discussed about all these things. So these are the important sections, contact information, personal statement, work experience, education, skills, additional information. Then uh, make section headings slightly larger. Okay, I think all you have, uh, all you know is that section. There should be a dis uh, distinction between the section heading and the content. Okay, so add a blank line before and after each heading. Okay, then save your CV in PDF to keep your formatting intact. Okay, that this is uh, this is for. Uh, so that nobody can change your data or manipulate your data. Okay, so you have to convert it in a PDF format. Okay, and then, okay, I'm going to show you a sample format, resume sample format. Uh, just give me a minute. The, this is in a resume title. Uh, okay, this is the CV coming. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a resume format. Okay. So uh, you have to mention your name, X Y Z A B C, whatever it is, Ram Rahim Sham, whatever it is. Then you have to mention your email ID. If it is you, if your name is X Y Z and your title is A B C, then you can put X Y Z A B C at the rate uh, gmail dot com. Then mobile. Mobile, you have to place your mobile number, your LinkedIn profile link, you have to showcase, then your synopsis, a brief description of yourself. Okay. Then you have, if you are having uh, any professional job experience, then you have to mention the last one. Uh, they are not interested in your previous one because a uh, company person always they are one step smarter than you. Always remember that they are one step smarter than you. So you don't act smart in front of them so it's better they know that you are not going to remember so many things yeah so you are always uh, you will remember only those things which you have recently closed okay so you have to focus only those things which you have recently done okay so the professional experience you will showcase your last professional experience if you were having if you are not having any professional experience no need to worry you have to showcase your last project in a uh, proper manner, what are the things you have done technically and non-technically in both ways and what you have learned from it. Okay. Then skills. In the skills section, you have to be very particular that if uh, you are applying for a technical post or a non-technical post, if you are applying for a technical post, you have to focus both soft skills, hardware and all these things. And if you are not applying for the, uh, if you are applying for a, a non-technical part, then you have to focused in your soft skills and as I have told you before the job description the job description you have to do a research on that particular job description and you have to pull out the keywords from that job description and you have to specify those keywords in your skill set okay so that will be bona fide if you uh, write uh, if your CV is scanned physically through the eye then also it will be benefit if it is scanned over the software then uh, the algorithm will be uh, means your resume will be selected okay then your sc uh, scholastic scholastic if you have done your degree then first you write your degree no need to write uh, your just uh, you write your college name what degree you have got and what percentage you have attained. No need to add that so much of details. Okay. Then 
then training and certification uh, so if you have attained any training or certification during your academics or after your academics you can mention and uh, yeah, you have to add a declaration part that whatever it is you have entered throughout your resume that is correct best of your knowledge okay so you have to put a declaration part then uh, we will again move to the Hmm. Okay, while writing your CV, you, ha you have to be a bit descriptive and good in English. Always remember that while, while you are writing a CV or a resume, your English pronunciation should be, uh, means English uh, grammar should be correct. Okay, if you are writing the things and you are using, uh, you are writing your grammar in a very wrong manner, that will be a negative marking for you. Okay, and the grammar should be correct, whatever. It should be simple, but it should be correct. Always remember these things. Okay, uh, title of the resume. This is the um, contact information, name, address, email ID, contact number, as I have discussed before. This is the carrier statement. The carrier statement uh, that uh, that will fit, the, fit to the particular uh, job advertisement or job uh requirement the schedule summary what is the summary of your career if you are for uh, if you are fresher focus uh, your qualification grades and achievements during your life and then focus uh, in your projects finally your project is very important so what are the experience you have gained through the pro uh, final year project think it as a internship right your, consider your final year project as an internship. I have told you that thing. Okay. So then if you are an experienced candidate, no doubt your last work experience, that should be very uh, elaborately you have to describe everything, what you have learned uh, in your job tenure or you know what are the things that you are going to carry that are the transferable skills. Yeah, you have to mention all those things. Then project experience, you have to write all the projects, what you have currently done, what you have done previously uh, in, in your school days or uh, mini projects. After that, uh, then final project, you have to mention all the projects in a brief manner. Okay. And uh, computer skills, basically, if you were applying for any software uh, job or something, and but in academia, your programming skills are very important. So C++, Python, Wellverse, JB, Oracle, MS Access, all these things you have to include. Okay. And then educational qualification, you have to write in, a, in, you have to first write the last educational qualification. If you were a degree holder, then you have to write the degree first. Then you have to go for HS metric, matriculation. Okay, if you are a diploma, then diploma, then HS, then metric. Okay, and if you are HS, then uh, HS, then metric. Okay, then achievements. What are the achievements in your life? What are the ranks you have attained? Okay, you have to mention all those things. Then, then the extracurricular activities. What are the extracurricular activities you have done? Um, that may be a volunteering program. That may be sports. That may be organizing committee or any lead a college tech fest or something. Any extracurricular activities you were the part, uh, you have been a part. So you have to mention all those extracurricular activities. Then last, uh, there comes your personal details. You have to mention your date of birth. Language is known, Hindi, English, Assamese, Bengali, Maratha, Gujarati, whatever you know, you write over there. And then hobbies, uh, that tells what kind of person you are, you are curious or not, that will describe you. Okay, so all this is about your CV. Then lastly, it comes to LinkedIn profile. So I think everyone has heard about the LinkedIn profile. Basically, uh, today... And the organizations and companies uh, basically go for the LinkedIn profile where you can highlight and focus uh, your professional credentials over there and achievements. And you can learn many things also in the LinkedIn platform. You, you can um, get 
linked with uh, best of the companies in that platform so basically linkedin is an american business and employment oriented online service that operates via websites mobile apps launched in 5 may 2003 that platform is mainly used for professional networking and allows job seekers to post their cvs and employers so it's basically uh, you can directly network with the employers okay so i i have finished my part so uh, if you are having any queries you can go forward unmute your mic and ask me